Good day. How are you doing? Um, we're here in a newer subdivision in Weston, and uh, we're going to talk today about um, lot lines and setbacks and what what that all means. So, um, if you look over here at the the house, um, there's in a newer subdivision. There's going to be um, everything's going to be staked out, so it'll be easy to find uh, lot lines in a newer subdivision. Uh, in an older subdivision, uh, it can definitely be a little tricky, and we'll get into that a little bit later. But um, if you look down the down the lot line here, you can see a series of, of white markers identifying where the where the lot line's at. And the setback is your distance off of the lot line that a structure, a house, a pavement, yard shed, garages, those sort of things. That's how far it needs to be off the lot line. So come with me. So our lot line's running right through right through here. So in order to find out what our setback is, we'll measure off of the building. To our lot line, which in this case is about 14 feet. Okay. Now, um, in the in the code, there is uh, a table for setbacks. So, depending on what your zoning district is, it's going to be a little different. So, um, let's go see in, in the backyard. Let's go see if we can find a corner pin in the backyard. Come on. All right. So. Um, the developer has, has his stakes in here and uh, going back towards the street and as you can see right here this is what one of the one of the corner pins look like. All right so this corner pin here was put in by the surveyor okay and that's the the lot line running out towards the street in this case and then if you work past on the across the back lot line there's going to be a corner pin over there as well. Um, in an older subdivision like I said, it can be a little tricky because it's over time will get covered with dirt and and leaves and and that sort of stuff. So uh, we're gonna go find uh, uh, some woods to uh, to try and track down an older lot line pin. So we'll catch up here in a few minutes. Here we are in the backyard of, of a property in Weston, and we're gonna wander in the woods here and see if we can find some corner pins. All right, come on. So here's our survey marker and down here's a corner pin and that corner pin is uh, put there by the surveyor all right if you've got an older property that that pin is probably going to be covered underneath a bunch of debris pine cones pine needles leaves that sort of stuff um, but if you look down this back end of the lot line down at the other corner there's a there's a survey marker down there too so we're gonna go ahead and, and take a look at that so come on another survey marker another corner pin so and then it's running out towards the street that direction and um, if you can't find those okay you definitely want to do a couple things one First, go to Marathon County's mapping service. Uh, they've got a lot of information on there. Um, two, if you still can't find it, you definitely want to contact a surveyor. Okay, Surveyor is the person that is going to be able to legally establish your lot lines, which is extremely important if you put something in the wrong place uh, and your neighbor has an issue with it. Okay, um, if, if it is put in the wrong location across the property line, then it you know, you definitely don't want to go to court over your, your new fence that you had installed, right? So, um, hope these few things help, okay? One, go hunting around the property edge, see if you can find some, some metal pins like this. And two, go to Marathon County's land mapping service, all right? Three, if those fail, three, find a surveyor. There's a lot of them. Get the Google Majigger out. 
land surveyors near me, that should do the trick. Okay? Thanks. Take care.